Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Wallet Blend and today is a massive episode because we have a huge game against Real Madrid in the Champions League and it is pretty crucial, believe me. Uh, we've had a mixed start to the season and a frustrating start at times. We got off to a, well, a, a cracking start to the campaign early on thanks to wins against Burnley, Sheffield Wednesday, Wigan like I said in the last video and of course we beat Galatasaray 4-3 in the exciting Super Cup final. And then a 4 0 win against Man United in the league was just, I just thought, wow, we've basically started where we left off from last year. Um, brilliant win. But then crashing back to earth against Real Madrid away from home, 2 1. Not the worst result in the world, but a loss is a loss at the end of the day. And then we went on a poor run, drawing 2 all against Fulham, and then losing against Championship side Everton in the Capital One Cup third round on penalties after an exciting 3 or draw. Um, so that was pretty disappointing. We've already lost that crown. But like I said, I'm concentrating on the Champions League because once I've won that, that will be the end of the series. But more of that in a bit. Then we drew 1-0 against Sunderland and beat Basel 2-0 in the Champions League before 2-0-0 draws against Southampton and West Brom. And then it Incredible 6-3 winning against Metalist. Unbelievable. Townsend with two goals. And then we beat West Ham 2-1. Thanks to Ben Teke with a couple of goals. Beat Stoke 3-0. And then this was really disappointing. 3-2 defeat away against Metalist. Which does mean we're in a precarious position in the group. Which I will show you in a second. Then another 0-0 draw. We're hardly conceding any goals. But we're getting so many draws. 0-0. But then the big teams were doing fine against. We were both down to 10 men, but we won 3 0. Ericsson has been brilliant in terms of assists and got his first goal of the season, leaving us in second place in the league. Chelsea, game in hand, level with us. So it's quite close. We're the only team that hasn't lost a game, but we've drawn five of those games. I think th three or four of them 0 0. We've only conceded four goals in the league compared to last year. Our defence is even more solid. We were pretty solid last year, but um, only four goals is crazy. Champions League-wise, we are conceding a few. Six goals against Metalist in total, meaning we go into the last two games in third place, one point behind Metalist, which means if Metalist beat Basel, we lose against Real Madrid, we are out, which will guarantee another season for you to watch me play on this series, but preferably I don't want to go out at the group stage at this point so we have to get something against Real Madrid we really do um, and hope Metalists don't win oh, we've just it's not in our hands anymore which is pretty disappointing anyway the team I've gone with against Real Madrid luckily we're at home that does give us a chance we beat them in pre-season in a friendly so we can beat them and we were unlucky away from home against Madrid and Metalist giving Walker a rest because he's slightly jaded according to my assistant manager so Norton's playing but he has played very well 7.70 average rating has been tipped to get into the England team along with Walker so Real Madrid have Gundogan in midfield not playing Bale in this game so that may play into our hands or maybe not Di Maria is also a fantastic player Anyway, let's try and beat Real Madrid because we really have to and hope Metalist slip up as well or get a draw against Basel. We, we, yeah, we need Basel to do something, preferably. Especially if we only draw this game or lose. Get, oh, that's brilliant. That is good. Revenge ta um, team talk there has worked a treat. I've never seen everyone motivated like that before. I've enjoyed this save. It's been a tricky start to the season. Some really good results against the two Manchester teams. Um, but draws-wise, we're drawing against teams that we should be beating comfortably. And it's been disappointing. But we are second in the table. And that's still brilliant, of course. Benteke has been brilliant. Not there. Just played it into Casillas' hands. But generally, he has been a hit. 
Ericsson has been his usual brilliant self at creating goals. And Lamella has also been very good. Second top scorer. Got a few assists as well. But here go Benzema on the attack. Di Maria's down. Are we going to play it out for him? Or are we going to let him just writhe around on the floor? Maybe we're going to let him writhe around on the floor. Or maybe not. Oh look, Lamella. What was that? Come on. Hit it forwards. Sandro, Benteke, Lamella. Straight into Casillas' hands again. What was that? Oh, right, he's kicking out of play for Di Maria. This looked really weird. He sort of looped it around. Casillas pumps it up the pitch. Good tackle. Lamella. Play it out wide. There's Norton. Crosses it in. Oh, Lamella. He actually did get a decent head on that. He was going to the corner, but Casillas just... Moved to one side and simply caught it. Made it look easy. Modric. Run, Lamella, run. Good tackle by Modric. Our ex-player, of course. Great tackle by Baines. Baines wins it again into Eriksen. Into Benteke. That was poor. What was that, Benteke? Tackle him. Marcelo, get rid of it. Benzema. This could be the end of our Champions League dreams. I, I really thought we had a good chance in this group. Basel Metalist. We should be the second best team in this group after Madrid. Which is proving the case in these two games against them. But that Metalist result was just disastrous. Truly disastrous. And... Uh, we might as well look at the, the league table, see where we are. Metalist are winning. We're out at this stage. We're out of the champ. Lamella heads it in. Thank you. We're still almost out because we would have to rely. Oh, Basel have equalised against Metalist. Thank you. We would have to rely on Madrid beating Metalist in the next game. But you would assume they would. But we shall see. We're still in this. Another revenge team talk. Hmm. What can I do? Dembele's not only on 6.8. But that's alright. We'll stick with this for now. Actually, I might bring Honda off. No, I'll leave Honda on. Let's go for this. Let's win this. Let's beat Real Madrid. And hope Basel will hold on against Metalist. Or even score another goal. That would be brilliant. Lamella. Oh, lovely run. Benteke. Eriksen. Baines scores. He gets so far forward all the time. It's What a player. What a player. Just have to love him. See the replay. Just came into Baines. He just slammed it home. Thank you, Baines. Thank you. You hero. Just go to counter now. And I think I will bring Honda off now. And bring on Townsend. Mm, Townsend. Lennon. Bring on Lennon. And then I'll play conventional wingers, I think. And try and get some crosses into Benteke. The beast, the kraken. Oh no, free kick. Modric. Good catch by Loris. Well done. Loris up the pitch. Tackle him. Oh no, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ah, simple catch for Loris. Denying Modric. And a couple more subs. Sandra's on a yellow. Bring on Diame. Change him to ball winning midfielder. Defend. And lastly, bring on Sigurdsson for Eriksen. 
and I hope Sigurdsson can produce a decent corner or free kick for someone to head in. Come on, hold on. If we can hold on to this result and Bars will hold on against Metalist, it's in our hands in the last game. In fact, we can finish top of the group if we get really lucky. Benteke, Lamella, 3-1, fabulous finish. Thank you, Lamella, you wonderful, wonderful player. Uh, I love it when it hits the crossbar and goes down. It just looks so good. Well done, Benteke, as well, with the assist. We're beating Real Madrid 3-1. It's brilliant. Lamella, 9.2. What a player. He has been immense. Get rid of it. Well done, Dawson. Now, yeah, that's it. No, oh, no. oh. Here we go, Baines. Into Sigurdsson. Into Lamella. Back to Sigurdsson. Into Baines. Crosses it in. Benteke 4 1. We're beating Real Madrid 4 1. Unbelievable. Oh, I can't actually believe that. Anyway, 4 1. Amazing. Wow. And this is the end. We've won the game. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I assume Metalist did draw against Basel. We'll just quickly check. Very quickly. Yes, they did. There we go. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And hopefully we will qualify for the knockout stages of the Champions League.